reported. I'd like to call the Site Plan Review Committee to order roll call, please, Terry. Mayor Podolsky? Here. Dennis Persick? Here. Gary. Chris Atkinson? Here. Dale Quinn? Here. And Krosky, Paul, and Pampern are excused. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And please remember our men and women throughout the world in uniform. I have no changes to the agenda. I need a motion to approve. So moved. Second. Motion and a second to approve the agenda as presented. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carried. I need action on the site plan review committee regular meeting minutes from July 6, 2021. Move to approve. Second. Motion and a second to approve those minutes. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carried. Number six. Review plans for the following locations. 6A, action on a request for an accessory garage and parking lot expansion for Capital Credit Union, located at 825 Morris Avenue, parcel VA-67. Aaron. Okay, uh, the requested site plan review uh, is for an accessory uh, building uh, to actually replace an existing garage currently on the site. And I'll bring up the uh, site plan here for reference. Uh, as you can see, the, there's a current garage uh, here on the uh, western end of the property. Uh, this property is going to be split off, uh, so therefore this building will no longer be accessible to Capital Credit Union. So they're proposing to construct a new building uh, right here south of the uh, current uh, office building, uh, as well as then expand the parking lot uh, in this darkened area that you see here. Uh, in terms of overall site plan, uh, just zoom in a little bit here a little, again. Uh, just one change from the submitted plans uh, is that the dumpster location is going to be located uh, here along the south side of the existing building instead of along the property line. Uh, you know, better neighborly uh, accommodations. Uh, as you can see, there are some landscape islands uh, right here, here, uh, and then the continuation of the parking lot uh, in this area. It will have curbing as required by village code. In terms of the garage itself, uh, you can see here it will have a split face block uh, exterior consistent with the existing office building. Uh, and in discussions with, uh, with the applicant uh, just now, they're getting pricing on having a uh, slightly pitched roof with a parapet, so a flat look consistent with their existing buildings uh, as well as with the uh, the pitched roof that you see here. Uh, so there was a request that uh, if approval is so granted that they have the option for either the pitched roof as presented or the flat parapet roof uh, as is consistent with the, the uh, existing building itself. Uh, from a staff standpoint, we're perfectly fine with either option. Both would meet the requirements for the village. <clears throat> uh, let's see. In terms of recommended conditions of approval, uh, the only item of note is just to meet all applicable requirements of 17-2-200 uh, Eshwaba Municipal Code. There are no other uh, conditions of approval uh, recommended by staff. Uh, the applicant is in the audience. Do you have any questions for them? Otherwise, I'm happy to answer any questions for you as well. I have no questions. Does anybody have any questions? It's pretty straightforward to me. So if, if you so move, I would request again to have that option for either the parapet roof or the pitch roof. Okay. There's no questions. Does someone want to entertain a motion? I'll make a motion to approve with either the pitched or parapet roof. I'll second. You have a motion and a second to accept the plans as presented with the option of either the flat pitched roof or the Parapet, or no, parapet roof, right? Right, we okay. got it. <laughs> Everybody understands that, hopefully. <laughs> um, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, number seven, department reports. 
Uh, working a few items right now uh, that I'll be bringing forward to. Uh, yep, thanks, Tom. Thanks, Ted. We're seeing you again. Um, one of which is a revision to the parking standards, our off street parking standards for the village for restaurants. Um, we've had quite a bit of interest from the restaurants in the area or in the village to put in outdoor seating uh, based his response to uh, COVID protocols. Uh, some of them have been held back because of our minimum parking standards that we have in place. Did some review on it, looked at comparable communities, and we are definitely on the highest end of the requirements. So I'll be bringing that forward uh, at our next site plan review committee meeting in August, uh, as well as a couple projects, uh, one of which is the Bohemian Park uh, building number two. Um, due to construction costs, they did bring that down from a five-story building to a four-story building. So I'll be coming back through uh, site plan review, uh, as well as you probably heard on the news, uh, which is relatively uh, widespread, uh, Schneider National is uh, doing a new IT building uh, on their corporate campus off of Packerland. Uh, so that building will be coming through uh, site plan review committee as well. Okay. Takes care of number eight items for next agenda. Are there any questions? Okay, I need a motion to adjourn, please. Motion to adjourn. Second. All second. Motion and a second to adjourn. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. We're done. Thank you.